Welcome back to SOLIDWORKS and NCS Tutor YouTube channel. In this SOLIDWORKS sheet metal tutorial, we are going to learn how to use swept flange and sketch band feature in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. So we will made this part using swept flange feature. So we will also learn about the sketch band. In the previous videos, we have covered all the topics of basic tools of SOLIDWORKS sheet metal like meter flange, jog, loft rate band, base flange tab with detail. I will provide the link in the description. So go and watch the videos. So first of all, we will learn about the sketch band feature. So for that, I am going to make the simple sketch. Like this. Go to exit sketch, go to sheet metal and select base flange tab to add the material to your sketch. So select OK from here. Now you can see that we have two edges here. If we want to make the flange here, we can simply use the edge flange feature like this. But if we want to make the bend in this area from here like this with, the, with some distance. So what we have to do is we have to use sketch band feature. So select this face, go to sketch and make the line like this and give some distance according to your drawing or geometry. Select OK from here. Now simply go to sheet metal tab and select sketch band feature from here. So it will ask you about the sketch or open contour. So I will select this. So now we have fixed face option. First one is this and second one is this. So we can select the two sides of the sketch. One is this side and another one is this. So I will select this side. So I have to make the bend and fix the fix the other part. So I have to select this face because I am going to make the edge from this sketch bend. So these are the bend positions like material inside, material outside. I have explained all this in the previous videos. So if we will select this bend outside button, you can see that the bend is made in the outside of the sketch or if I will select the material outside you can see that the band is made outside the sketch and if I will select the band center line the sketch will be in the center of the band you can see like this so this was a simple use of sketch band if you want to change the direction or reverse the direction simply select this arrow and select OK so now you can see how easily we have add the band in the certain area so this was a simple sketch band feature now we will see what is the swept flange and we will make the part as I have shown in the starting of the video so for that first of all go to front plane Go to sketch tab and make an arc and make an arc like this. So swept flange is same like the swept boss base features you used in the basic modeling. So we have made the arc. This will act as the path line for us in the swept flange feature. Now what we will do is simply go to exit sketch, go to feature. Select the plane from here, select this arc and select the vertex to make the plane coincident to it like this. Now simply sketch the lines on this plane. Let me tell you that swept flange will only work on the line and arc. It will not work on sublines or any other feature so as you can see that we have made the 
sketch now we will swap this sketch on this arc line now we will go to exit sketch go to sheet metal and select swap films from here so in this we will select the profile which is this sketch and from here we will select the path like this so now you can see how easily we have made the complex part using swap flange now this is the simple swap flange property manager you can use gauge table i have the extra videos with detail on the gauge tables or how to add gauge table you can also change the custom relief and bend lines select ok from here so you can see that your swap flange part is ready so to increase or decrease the thickness simply you can increase the thickness from here it will adjust the thickness with the supported sheet metal part so from here you can select the radius like this it is the bending radius select okay from here so now if you want to make some holes on this you can simply make it select the front plane go to sketch and select the circle from here like this simply use extrude cut from here and select through all both select okay so now you can also use the edge flange feature in the solid work sheet metal simply select these edges like this so select okay from here so now you can see that our sheet metal part is ready as i as i have shown you in the starting of the video this part is with the general dimension i will start the exercise series of the sheet metal soon so stay tuned with the channel now if you want to flatten this part simply select flatten from here and if i go to file save as this for the manufacturing so you will select the dxf format from here so save it in the location so from here you can see that it is asking for the export type so i will select the sheet metal i will and titles to export are bend lines and sketches also so select okay from here so now you can see that I have got the DF DXF file for the manufacturing or you can also generate the drawing using the drawing feature in the SolidWorks so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos